Parenting is a journey filled with love, joy, and the constant hope of raising our children in the best possible way. However, we are not infallible, and often look back on our parenting with a list of regrets. In this video, we will explore some of the greatest mistakes parents make and how we can overcome them through faith, wisdom, and love. By embracing these lessons, we can nurture a stronger bond with our children and guide them on the righteous path. Are you ready? Let's go! Mistake number one. Scolding without discernment. While discipline is an important aspect of parenting, excessive scolding can lead to negative consequences. Instead of nitpicking every mistake, we should focus on nurturing a healthy relationship with our children. By discerning which actions truly matter and punishing only when necessary, we create an environment that fosters growth and understanding. The Bible instructs that we train the child in the way they should go, and when they grow up they won't depart from it. It is advised that you don't just scold your children without reason. Show them what the Bible says about their mistakes, that would make them know you are scolding them because of your love for them and not because of hate. Children can easily feel unloved, so next time you want to scold or discipline your child, show them why the discipline is important for them from the Bible. Let them know that it is the child the father loves he chastises. Mistake number two. Missing out on meaningful moments. Amidst our numerous commitments, it's easy to overlook the importance of being present for our children's milestones. We must prioritize being there for them, even during seemingly trivial events. Cherishing these moments creates lasting memories and strengthens the bond between parent and child. Christian parents, especially clergy members, tend to be consumed with activities in church, evangelism and prayers that they fail to be available for their children when they need them the most. As Christian parents, don't forget to give your children gifts during their birthdays and other special events in their life. Be present during their school graduations, don't be too busy to be there for them. Mistake number three. Ignoring creative play. Encouraging our children to engage in creative games and activities benefits their development on multiple levels. Whether it's drawing, playing with Play-Doh, or exploring various artistic ventures, fostering their imaginations enhances intelligence, vocabulary, and self-discovery. By supporting their creative endeavors, we unlock their hidden potential. As Christian parents, don't just be concerned with training your children to be spiritual, also train them to be social, intellectual, train them all round. The Bible records that Jesus grew in stature, wisdom, favor before God and also favor before man. Allow your children to become like Jesus. Allow them to grow all round. Mistake number five. Valuing a child's opinion. Neglecting a child's perspective obstructs their ability to develop decision-making skills and self-confidence. While we can't always fulfill their every wish, taking the time to explain our reasoning or finding common ground fosters understanding. By acknowledging their opinions, we empower them to become independent thinkers. In the scripture 2 Kings 5 verses 1 to 3, it was a child that referred King Neman to Elijah for the cure of his long-lasting leprosy. Information from your child can change it all for you, the Bible says that from the mount of babes and sucklings the Lord has ordained strength. The Lord can speak through everybody including your child, so therefore don't ignore them. Mistake number 6. Neglecting meaningful communication. Communication is the cornerstone of parenting. Neglecting quality time and emotional involvement can lead to distant relationships with our children. Setting aside dedicated moments for bonding and actively listening to their thoughts and concerns ensures they feel loved and valued. Mistake number seven. Not teaching them financial responsibility. Money management is a life skill often neglected in childhood. By educating our children about personal finance, we empower them to make responsible decisions and understand the value of money. Encouraging savings, setting budgets, and providing opportunities for earning money cultivates financial literacy. In conclusion, as Christian parents, we are not exempt from making mistakes. However, by reflecting on these common pitfalls and embracing a faith-based approach, we can learn from our missteps and strengthen our relationship with our children. Through open communication, consistency, emotional involvement, and imparting wisdom, we can guide them in the ways of righteousness. Let us strive to be intentional in our parenting, acknowledging our past mistakes and learning from them. By grounding ourselves in faith and love, 
and depending solely on the guidance that comes from the Holy Spirit, we can become the parents God designed us to be, nurturing our children to become strong and godly individuals. One of the greatest books we recommend for Christian parents is a book titled, Children Are Fools Don't Be Deceived by Their Cuteness. The link to the book would be pinned on the comment and the video description. God bless you, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.